I'd like to talk a little bit about spray bottles because I use a lot of spray bottles and I love it and I've been through every single problem you can have with the spray bottle. I've learned a lot and um, one of them is you probably don't want to use them under a lot of hot lights and heat or in the, in the uh, intense sunlight. So what I encourage you to do is to um, get your paint into the bottle. I just drop paint in, add my distilled water once again, and then you'll notice that I hold the lid of the, I hold the lid of the um, sprayer next to the bottle. And if you look, you'll see that the uh, wick on that continues down. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut it so that it's not just twisting at the bottom of the, the bottle. Now, before I put this back into the bottle, there's something I'm going to do. This is one of my all-time favorite tools. It's still inexpensive. It's a simple um, shish kebab stick or a bamboo stick that's used for food preparation. I'll take that shish kebab stick, and because scissors tend to close up the bottom of these wicks, I'm going to open it up with my shish kebab stick and then throw my shish kebab stick back in my water source as I do all the time. There's almost always one of those shish kebab sticks in my water source. I'll tell you why a little later. At any rate, while I'm doing this, I'm going to stir this up and shake it really, really well and make sure that the paint is well dissolved in the spray bottle. Once again, I've got my three primaries, my blue, my red, and my yellow, which I will stir and, and have ready to go. Shake and have ready to go. I've already trimmed the bottom of this, and it's well dissolved. We'll shake them up, and we'll get ready to go. Whenever a painting has um, issues with not enough color in your mind or some way that you'd like to change the color distribution, a spray bottle is a nice way to do it. It takes a moment or two for the, pu the pump to raise the fluid to the top of the sprayer so don't get frustrated. And also you must hold the bottle upright. If you hold the bottle sideways, air comes in and you block the spray immediately. It took me a long time to learn these simple facts, but once I did, you can see that this area has brightened incredibly. Look at this soft area here. I'd like that color to be just a little brighter and maybe cover some of that blue. In just a moment's time, I'm going to spray color on there and change and shift the color. And here this blue is going to change because I'm adding the red right to it. So you can see that very quickly you can make changes in a painting by adding simple sprays of color. Occasionally the spray drops, it spatters, which disturbs some people. It doesn't bother me. It's part of the painting process. I remember looking at other people and they'd flick their brush. I consider that nothing more than the flick of the spray bottle. And again, I can change color all the way up the side of the painting and or over towards the top by just spraying instead of spending hours with the paint application. So the spray bottle is one of my very favorite tools.